when exactly was the upper human occupied level of the Arkula installation constructed? I heard Dulles was started in 1937 to 38 by the Army engineers, enlarged over the years. Most recent work was completed in 1965 to 66 to connect tunnels to the Arizona base, site of one of the older underground facilities. The Four Corners base is called Piraca. Most of the Native American Indians living in that area are aware of that base, and could tell us about the underground life forms, that frequently are spotted near those communities, Bigfoot, etc. By what means, was the upper installations constructed? Are you familiar with the alleged developments made by the Rand Corporation of a highly efficient bore or mole machine capable of melting rock? using nuclear-powered wolf from graphite tipped drill cones. According to several senior maintenance workers, part of it was blasted by nuclear devices in the 60s. There are sections, like the shuttle tunnels, that were formed by an advanced tunneling machine that leaves the tunnel walls smooth. The finished walls in those tubes resemble polished black glass. By who? Was the Dulce installation originally constructed? Nature started the caverns. The Draco reptilian humanoids used the caverns and tunnels for centuries. Later, through Rand Corporation plans, it was enlarged repeatedly. The original caverns included ice caves and sulfur springs that the aliens found perfect for their needs. The Dulce caverns rival Carl's bad caverns in size. What exactly are the cat and the human organs such as blood, anal tissue, eyes, reproductive organs, tongues, etc. used for, that is, the organs obtained via cat and the human mutilations? Read the so-called Dulce papers for more information. Are the various electromagnetically controlled air or spacecraft, have have been seen leaving from and arriving at Mount Arcoolida? Manned by humans, the alien entities, or both? Arkwood Mesa is a minor area. The crafts leave and are stored in five areas. One is southeast of DULC, one near Durango, Colorado, one at Taos, New Mexico, and the main fleet is stored at Los Alamos. Others have suggested that some of the entities below Dulce are not of extraterrestrial origin, and that they are actually descended from saurian or reptiloid beings such as the Velociraptors or Stenonychosaurus equalus, a serpent race or races similar to that hinted at in the third chapter of the book, of Genesis. Yes, some reptoids are native to this planet. The ruling caste of aliens are reptilian. The beige or white beings are called the Draco. Other reptilian beings are green, and some are brown. They were an ancient race on Earth, living underground. It may have been one of the Draconian beings that tempted even the Garden of Eden. Reptoids rightly consider themselves native to runes. Perhaps they are the ones we call the fallen angels. Maybe not, either way, we are considered the squatters on Earth. Some have suggested that the so-called underground extraterrestrial bases and tunnels may, for a large part, be literally thousands of years old. Constructions of an Andaluvian race which attained to a considerable level of scientific complexity, and who were destroyed by a divinely initiated cataclysm which took place after they attempted to merge their science with occult supernatural forces. For instance some have suggested that the Bermuda Triangle phenomena may be the result of an out-of-control Atlantean experiment that led to a space-time disaster which produced electromagnetic fallout in the Triangle area and elsewhere after they had accidentally loosed powerful forces and energies into the world that they knew very little about. Do your observations tend to confirm or refute such a possibility? I'm not sure about the divine part, but these aliens consider themselves native to runes. Where do the little great aliens fit in? They work for, and are controlled by the Draco. There are other grayskin beings that are not in league with the Draco. 
Did you ever talk to any of the aliens at the base? Since I was the senior security technician at that base, I had to communicate with them on a daily basis. If there were any problems that involved security or video cameras, I was the one they called. It was the reptilian, working cast, that usually did the physical labor in the lower levels at Dulles. Decisions involving that cast were usually made by the white Draco. When human workers caused problems for the working cast, the reptoids went to the white Draconian boss, and the Draco called me. At times, it felt like it was a never-ending problem. Several human workers resented the no-nonsense or get-back-to-work attitude the working caste lives by. When needed, intervention became a vital tool. The biggest problem were human workers who foolishly wandered around near the off-limits areas of the alien section. I guess it's human nature to be curious and to wonder what is past the barriers. Too often someone found a way to bypass the barriers and nosed around. The cameras near the entrance usually stopped them before they got themselves in serious trouble. A few times I had to formally request the return of a human worker. Are there other sites tied into the shuttle network other than those which you mentioned, and if so, where are the entrances? Where? Everywhere. They crisscross the world day as an endless subterranean highway. Like a freeway, except this one is underground. The subterranean highway in America is like a freeway except it's underground. That highway depends on electric motors for trucks, cars and buses for the paved roads, and it is for a limited travel. There is another style of transit for freight and for passengers that is for rapid travel. That worldwide network is called the Subglobal System. It has checkpoints at each country entry. There are shuttle tubes that shoot the trains at incredible speeds using a maglev and vacuum method. They travel at a speed that excels the speed of sound. Part of your question involves the location of entrances to that base. The easiest way to answer is to say every state in the USA has them. Frequently, the entrances are camouflaged as sand quarries or mining operations. Other complex portals are found on military bases. New Mexico and Arizona have the largest amounts of entrances followed by California, Montana, Idaho, Colorado, Pennsylvania, Kansas, Arkansas and Missouri. Of all the states Florida and North Dakota have the least amount of entrances. Wyoming has a road that opens directly into the subterranean freeway. That road is no longer in use but could be reactivated if they decide to do so, with minimal cost. It's located near Brooks Lake. Are there any bases in the state of Utah? Have you heard anything about an alleged underground installation within the Wasatch Mountains? Salt Lake, Lake Powell area, Dark Canyon, Dudley Grounds, Magna, Bernal. All have exits there. Other two. Does the Mount Arcula shuttle system connect with a shuttle system which allegedly radiates from Mount Shasta in Northern California? Yes, Mount Shasta is a major site of alien elder race, reptilian race human meetings. Beginning Cleveland, Grover every president in U.S. history had visited Delos City. Truman was supposed to have visited the lower realms as a high archon on Earth. He was supposed to have met the king of the world there, and gave him the keys to the USA. Did you notice any involvement of high-level Freemasons, Rosicrucians or Jesuits within the underground installation and or with the aliens? Yes I did, but that is a loaded question, and I won't comment further. I'm not a Mason, or a member of any other secret fraternal group. There is one organization I am a member of in the USA. That group is commonly called the Central Unit. It is a pleasure to tell you that I am a member of the Subgalactic League of Costa Rica.